a big time developer, a successful businessman. And then he became the poster boy for domestic violence and lost it all. David Chase lived a nightmare, falsely accused of beating his ex-girlfriend. The DA finally dropped the charges, but the damage was done. And now in an exclusive interview with Nick Barris, Chase sounds off on his ex, the police, and the prosecutors. They made me out to be a monster and, you know, attacked my credibility, uh, attacked my character. David Chase says it's time to set the record straight, and he wants people held accountable for what he endured. It was like living in the twilight zone. Two years ago, Chase was riding high, lauded for brokering a deal to bring Virgin Hotels to Nashville. You know, I worked in that Virgin deal since 2008. Then, in an instant, he was out. This after his ex-girlfriend had him arrested for assault and strangulation. She was upset that I took somebody else to the swan ball. Chase says she was out for revenge after the breakup and also after money. And let's be real clear. Do you beat on women? Do you hurt women? Did you hurt her? Is that in you? Absolutely not. Definitely not. There was no anything physical uh, from me at all other than get out of my house. David Chase. But prosecutors moved on the case. Chase was high profile. Making things worse, a judge released him from jail before a 12-hour hold. He went back to his apartment where his ex-girlfriend reported he attacked her again. And it made headlines. I got hung, drawn, quartered, crucified, and guillotined all in the first two weeks. Chase says Metro Police early on did literally nothing to investigate the validity of the charges against him, ignoring obvious evidence, security video, inconsistent statements, which cleared him. The case dragged on for 14 months his life in limbo. It went on way too long. Furious with the conduct of police, Chase filed a federal lawsuit accusing the Metro PD of violating his civil rights. Four months later, District Attorney Glenn Funk announced all charges would be dropped essentially because the ex-girlfriend lied. Do you think she should have faced criminal charges? Absolutely. That didn't happen, and there's more. Chase says the DA told him he'd only drop the domestic assault charges if Chase gave up the federal lawsuit against the PD. I haven't looked up the, the dictionary in Webster's, but that sure sounds like blackmail to me. Chase dropped the lawsuit, but says he may now consider refiling it. The charges against him are now gone, but the damage, he says, is done. What did it cost you? Uh, my Big job, days, yeah. my career. There were, you know, 180 negative stories about me in, in the one, you know, story about exoneration and, and that she lied and made it up. So. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. David Chase may have dropped the lawsuit against Metro PD, but he has filed a defamation suit against his ex-girlfriend and eight other people claiming they sought malicious prosecution. But the story doesn't end there. Coming up tonight on News Channel 5 at 630, we'll hear more from David Chase, including how he says his rights were violated. No, it wasn't an ask. It was a, we're not dismissing your criminal case unless you dismiss your federal case. Be watching for that coming up at 630. And late this afternoon, District Attorney General Glenn Funk filed a $200 million lawsuit against News Channel 5, as well as our chief investigative reporter, Phil Williams. General Funk alleges defamation, civil conspiracy, and violation of the Consumer Protection Act. The lawsuit alleges our story is patently false. News Channel 5 stands by our story.